his story isn't finished. And last night's right. performance, uh, you know, for him to play the final quarter and a half and overtime with five fouls, uh, yeah. I think he had 13 points in the fourth quarter and then that absolute rainbow of a dagger. It's hard. Can you call a rainbow Ooh. a dagger? Like, those are two conflicting things. But, oh. but that rainbow yeah. dagger um, that 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 ended it, basically, put the Celtics to sleep. And so it just felt like it sparked. It felt like we can have a conversation about the Warriors again. Like that. That that seems like it could be a pivotal moment in their season if they do indeed go on and go on a little run here. First, they have to get back to 500. <laughs> you know, um, funny to have a conversation about a guy whose team is below 500 at the time is one of the greatest ever. Um, but you know, let's say they go on a little run here. Let's say they put something together. Let's say Draymond gets his act together. Let's say the young players who showed a lot last night, right? Trey they Jackson did. Davis, Kaminga. Really you know, good game we, for him. I think, yeah, I think we Jackson learned a Davis, lot. I think they showed game. something to Steve Kerr. I think they earned some trust from Steve Kerr, the way they performed last night. So if they can build on that, if Steph leads this, you saw Steph being more vocal, realizing that with Draymond out, he's got to, you know, I think he was exhorting guys. He wasn't getting on guys. He seemed like he was exhorting guys a little bit normal, a little bit more than he normally does. Um, so if they can get on a run this year, if he gets to five late in his career at a time when the dynasty seems like it's it's waning, if not over, okay. Oh, we now, start to now we're talking. He's now, at five. Now we're talking, right? So yeah, right. yeah. So so let's let the story to play out. And, and we'll see what we're talking about at the end of it. Right now, there's not enough data. And he still has a chance to add, but there's not enough data that I have to put Steph at the top or even really seriously embed him in the conversation. Uh, I can tell you this. The, the, the Celtics, they may not admit it. Uh, the Celtics are confident against most teams. The Warriors, it's just... Their experience with the Warriors, it's hard to shake. It's hard to shake. They were up, uh, they were up by five points in game four of the NBA Finals. They were leading two games to one. They were up by five points. Last five minutes of the game, they win that game. They take a commanding 3-1 lead in the NBA Finals, and, and they probably win the NBA Finals. And then Steph Curry happened. Steph Curry happened <laughs> in game four. One of the great performances I've seen uh, in the NBA Finals. And... The Warriors beat the Celtics in six. They beat the Celtics. The Celtics didn't win another game. They didn't win another game. So when the Celtics play anybody else, they feel like, yeah, we can deal with them. I think the Celtics just have this thing uh, when it's the Warriors, and they always check like some horror movie. Oh, uh, he's dead. And you turn around. Don't turn around. And we're in the audience like, don't turn around. Don't, he hey, don't go to the basement. Don't go to the basement. <laughs> Well, he we know they did. have a history with the Warriors, Michael, but what about these other teams they played on the road? Here's why I'm having trouble buying into the Celtics. They're 6-6 six and six hear, on the road hear. now. 14-0 at home. Okay. 6-6 six and six on the road, and right. their record in close games is not stellar either. They haven't found themselves in a lot of close games, uh, but when it is tight at the end, it, something happens to them the same way last night. They should not have lost that game last night. They had some great looks, some wide open threes and some shots at the Don't rim, and they couldn't Don't convert take. those. And so go to, they go to, go to the basket. You're right. Go to but even go when the they basket. did go to the basket, they were missing right at the hoop point blank. Tatum and Brown yeah, missing right at the rim. They missed that. I think Joe Mazzula said, uh, according to his count, they missed 20 layups last night. So they missed so, 20 and, layups. And, they're known to do that though, right? And supposedly Tatum spent the whole summer working on finishing at the rim. Um, and so how is that going to manifest it? Can they work through that? Um, can they get better? There's a lot of season left to be played. They've shown a lot that at, at their best, they look like the best team in the league, but do we trust them when things get tight on the road in a playoff game? How confident are you in that? Michael Holland? Um, uh, as, as a friend of mine said, uh, recently, I don't have enough data. <laughs> I don't have enough data. You need some more I don't data have enough data to say. That. Yeah, it's like I was asked about them last week. Uh, one of these fill in the blank. Hey, fill in the blank about the Celtics. The Celtics are, I said, evolving. They're still figuring it out. I mean, there are some questions. The questions you have about them, I don't have. I have other questions. I have questions about their uh, their depth, uh, you know, their consistency. Because you know, 
Last night, if you if you haven't keeping up with the Celtics, you're like, who's the center? Who's this dude? Number 88, man. You know, uh, wow. He looked good. Yeah, but you know, that's that's that was an outlier game. That was an outlier game for him. So most of the time they're relying on Al Horford, whose shot was not hitting last night. He had some great defensive plays, great block on Curry, kept it in bounds, started a break. Uh, they, they're counting on Horford for depth. They're counting, and then Porzingis didn't play last night. They're counting on Peyton Pritchard to give him points. They're counting on Sam Hauser, who who's like that. That's all he does is shoot threes. He's a three point special. He couldn't hit a thing last night. That's what they count on him for. That's why he's on the team. He's just a shooter. And when he and and you have to question those guys when you get to the playoffs too, Adonde, as you know, covering all the NBA finals and NBA playoff series that you have. If you're an offensive player, if you're if you're a one way player, playoffs start. They say, okay, I'm gonna hunt that dude. We're gonna put, we're gonna hunt him off the floor. <laughs> he's gonna be on the bench. You better you better get your D up a little bit. You got to be at least passable on defense to stay on the floor when it comes to the playoffs because you're just going to be irrelevant. The, the games are just the possessions. Each possession is just too valuable to have a weak link on defense. So I have questions about them on the edges, not necessarily their core, but the periphery. Anyway, I, I'm glad I'm glad we still after all these years. I know how you think when it comes to the greatest. <laughs> this is good to know. You know how but Steph I Curry. Up. Steph Curry. You were still in the I top need more ten. Data. You in the, need more you data. In the top ten. Hey, thank you for watching, brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM channel 85.